late Kel B. Jeffrey, an Australian who has spent the great bulk of his life amongst horses. After his death at the age of 78 years, Mr. Jeffrey devoted a great deal of his time to demonstrating his revolutionary methods of handling and teaching unbroken horses. The demonstration we are about to see took place on the Goon Muir property of Mr. Lindsay Crawford. The horse supplied by Mr. Crawford being a two-year-old filly which had never been handled before. The filly has been yarded in a small enclosure and left alone so that she may become accustomed to her new environment. Mounted on a hack to prevent undue excitement of the filly, Mr. Jeffrey carefully and quietly lassoes her. She comes to a halt when the hack is reined in, thus the lasso is prevented from tightening around her neck, which would make her resist. The hack is then removed from the yard as quickly as possible, and the filly stands curious, yet calm, facing her teacher, ready for her first lesson. From the end of a 30-foot lasso, and at an angle to the horse, Mr. Jeffrey applies the first move of what he used to call his magic hold. A firm pull with the rope and immediate release. The horse responds and turns her head to face her tutor. Changing his position so as to bring himself again at an angle to the horse, Mr. Jeffrey applies pressure with the rope and immediately releases it. This procedure is repeated many times, always with the same method. First, the rope must be pulled at an angle to the horse, which brings the animal's head around to face in that direction. Secondly, relief is given immediately. Thus, in a short while, the horse learns that the rope will not hurt, that the pull on the rope is not lasting, and that the rope will not be pulled from the same direction again once she has responded to its pressure.